Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's your girl, Miss D. I'm back with another video. Hey. Today I made me some chicken and noodles. Yeah, I made me some chicken and noodles. I normally buy me some uh, chicken noodles uh, in a can. But this time I just made it from scratch and I got me some uh, tostado chips. Y'all, we about to get to seeing how y'all do. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this food I'm about to put in my body and nourish it in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, we about to get to seeing y'all. Just a light meal. And I'm going to have just a light conversation as well so we're gonna get it in this right here this is for you it's for you folks i tell you what the good thing about making your own chicken noodle soup you get to put how much chicken you want in your stuff that's for you both uh-uh Mm-hmm. And how much onions you want in your soup. I wanted to make it to where I have. Every time I go to get some noodles, I got some chicken with it. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys are doing great today. Rosie, I did get your comment. Appreciate it. Y'all, let me tell you something. I've been out not feeling good. But, had to get myself back up on the road. Mm. I do. to shut myself away from social media. I tell y'all what. It's all good though. Mm. It's all good. Got chicken more light and more chicken than anybody. That's good. 
condolences going out to um, the Braxton family. I just heard that uh, Tracy, one of their sisters, Tony Braxton, one of her sisters passed away. Condolences out to their family. Oh my God. And those other people who have lost uh, a loved one. She passed at the age of 50. I tell you what. kind of spicy. Yeah, that's spicy. Y'all, I chopped so many onions. It was about a, a whole onion. I chopped a whole onion and put it in here. Also, uh, put some sh shredded carrots. I topped it off with parsley. And I did oh, two cups of uh, noodle rolls. Now, what I was going to do is get some water. I had went to the store twice to try to get a rotisserie chicken. Gosh. Y'all, 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 y'all. All that noise. All that noise. I tell you what. I love my train stop. But the minute of somebody horn blow, I haven't heard no horn blowing. I don't know how long. You got folk blowing horn. What you blowing your horn for? What you blowing your horn? We got see up on that. Call the person. Let them know. Hey, I'm outside. Let me know you outside. Why, why are you blowing that home? 
If you eat, don't blow no horn. Oh. Uber's Eats here. I'll tell you what. Oh, I have my I found this story by watching video. And, um, I wasn't watching videos at all. I normally go and show support to channels. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I said, no, mm -mm. I ain't got that. But TMZ released this video of this. This was a director who, um, I want to say he was the director of The Panther, the movie The Panther, Black Panther. What happened to him? Can you imagine someone telling the story of going to the bank, giving the teller a note, and you hear all kinds of commotion behind you, and when you look around, it's popo. That is amazing. Let me tell you something. I can only imagine what was going through the teller's mind when he approached her. And, you know, I want to say the bank employees, they do, they do get training. They get massive training. Especially when it comes to a situation where you're in a situation and you cannot alarm that person that's in front of you of what you're about to do. Because if you did, anything can happen. I can only imagine what was going on in that bank teller's mind when... He wanted to, it wasn't, it wasn't about, I don't, th let me say this. In my opinion, I just don't think that it was just about the glasses and the mask. Because we know people wear a mask now. Excuse me, I... You know, the amount of money that we get out of the bank, it's, if it's a large amount, it makes no question that. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something. For every noodle, put some celery in there too. I'm surprised. I couldn't even uh, really taste the celery. I must have really cooked that. I let the um, I put the celery the uh, what is that? I didn't jump on a whole another subject. I put the celery, the carrots, and chicken in the broth all together. 
I want to say it cooked for probably 45 minutes. About 45 to 50 minutes. I had to add more broth in uh, to get it to do what I needed to do. Then I, because I know that it doesn't take long for noodles to soften up, uh, I made that my last thing to go into that soup. After I had everything in, I turned around and put onions in there. Let the onions uh, soften. After that, I kind of tried the soup out, kind of sipped the juice. I wanted to taste it. Tasted pretty good to me. I just added a little bit of seasoning salt in there. Not seasoning salt, but uh, it's a season that I use. Um, I added that in there. And then I put the the noodles in. The noodles was the last thing that I put into that soup. And uh, it tastes pretty good. Dang. You know, sometimes you want to go back for seconds. I just made just enough. Just enough. I didn't make... No extras. Sure hated. But anywho, back to the subject of this uh, this gentleman who uh, went to the bank to make a withdrawal. That that outcome was. Mm. He even had on a badge. He had he had on a badge. He had on a badge on the side of his. Uh, on the side of his uh, jacket. He had the badge. I guess he had everything there to make it look like that he was not a suspicious person. That's just because it, 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 it looks to me as though he didn't want them to think that he was being suspicious at this. So that's the way it looked to me. And maybe it have different. He had the badge on. Uh, and he stated that he was communicating back and forth with the teller. Now, if he was communicating with her, I wonder what was it that made her panic? Because he said he was communicating with her. Uh, to where she had him to put his PIN number in and he did that but what made her suspicious to where she called the police it may have been the large amount of money when you are taking out a large amount of money yeah things can happen especially if you don't have to see someone higher and then you go in the back and if you go in the back then you guys do that transaction from there everything's gonna be excuse me i believe more safer that way excuse me because that gives the um the uh person that's in back with you they let you know, hey, if you need security to walk you out to your vehicle, we can have security to walk you to your vehicle, uh, something like that. But um, we don't know if that happened, because I tell you what, I would draw a small amount of money out of my account. It was a very small amount. They asked me if I needed um, if I needed uh, security to go out to my vehicle with me. I said, no, I'm good. Very small. I can't let that bank go. That bank was charging you.
the bank was charging you interest. I thought that was crazy. You charging me for me to keep my money in your bank? And I'm seeing that you charge me this? If I didn't see you charge me that then, I probably wouldn't have had a problem with it. With me seeing you charge me, um, we're taking this amount out. And then when you, even when you withdraw out, they charge you for withdrawing out your money. I don't even think that bank exists anymore. National Bank. That was the name of it. I had to let them go. But yeah. Can you imagine withdrawing money from your account? And if you're not paying attention to your surroundings, who may be behind you? I sat there and I watched that video and I'm like, he was communi if he was communicating back and forth with them, I guess the 10,000, the, the 12,000 in the note is what really did it. You know, and for the officers to, de they had to detain him. They had to detain him. So they had to put him in handcuffs. That was uncalled for. Uncalled for. You know, sometimes, I guess when they detain you, you know, it doesn't mean that you have been arrested. You just been detained. But of course, you're being detained. And now it's going to probably show up in their system. Oh, we had detained him. When they when they run something on him, we detained him. That was wrong in all kinds of ways in that situation, how that happened. Now I just think, this is just my opinion. If he continued to bank with them, shame on him. Because you know what? You're not going to mistreat me this way and think that I'm going to continue to bank with you. No, it's, it's, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all, but it is what it is. People intend to do things a certain way. Him, I looked, as I looked at, see that note, I thought, I said, did he use one of their deposit? Their, they, you know how you get a blank deposit or withdraw uh, form? I said, maybe he used one of theirs. That's, and I'm quite, I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking that he may have used one of theirs to put that note on there because he couldn't have used one of his own. And it clearly said, do not write in box. I said, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. he probably take action against that bank. If he do, he needs to withdraw his money from... He needs to withdraw all ties from that bank. Most definitely. Um, he don't need to deal with them. But it is what it is anyway. I'm out, y'all. I want to thank y'all for coming on my uh, channel, viewing my content. Appreciate you. You have a safe and blessed day, and see you in the next video. Y'all take care now. You're here.